Uh, so that's, a, that's, an, that's an illustration of what a decision tree produces, what the classifier actually looks like as a data structure. Now, the algorithm that builds this data structure is called the ID3 algorithm, and it is a recursive algorithm, as most tree algorithms um, are. Uh, so what it does is it operates in turn on each node in the tree, and uh, for each node in the tree you get a node, and you also get a subset of training examples that falls into this node. So you would start at the root node, and at the root node the node is just the root of the tree, and the subset of examples is all the training examples that you have. So what does the algorithm do? Uh, step one, you find the best attribute to split on. And we're going to talk about how, how, do you de how do you determine which attribute is the best. But for now, just assume that the angel, an angel comes down and tells you, use this attribute for, uh, for splitting the examples. So you pick an attribute A. Now, this attribute has a number of possible values that it can take. So what you do is you use that attribute A for the current node in the tree. And if this attribute has three possible values, this means that you create three children for the current node. Right? So maybe it's sunny, rainy, and overcast, the three children uh, of the current node. The next thing you do is you take your set of examples, that's the subset that was passed to you as input, and you split them based on a value of the attribute that you're working with. So you take all the rainy days, put them in the child node that corresponds to the rainy. Uh, you take all the overcast, put them there. You take all the sunny uh, and put them into the sunny node. So you've split it into three sets. And then all you do is you recurse. Right? So now you have three children. So for each one of those children, you call the split function, again, your decision tree learning function, uh, on that child node with the subset of examples that goes into that child node, right? So you recurse on the rainy node with a rainy subset, you recurse on the sunny node with a sunny subset, except if one of the subsets ended up being completely pure. So if you had a subset where all the examples were positive or all the examples were negative, then you actually stop at this point. There's no need to, rec there's no need to split it further. You've, you've already, uh, it's, it's already pure. <clears throat> so uh, that's, the, that's the algorithm. Um, it was discovered independently by two people. In computer science, uh, it was Ross Quinlan in uh, 1986. So he came up with the first formulation, which was ID3. And then in 93, he refined it. C4.5 is pretty much the standard that's used up to this day. Um, uh, it was independently discovered by uh, Bramintal in, uh, in the field of statistics. It happens uh, that people in different areas sometimes discover very, very similar things. He had a very different name for it, and it was, more, it was more focused on regression, whereas Quinlan focused more on the classification side of it, uh, splitting positives and negatives. But pretty much the same idea. <coughs> um, so what we'll talk about now is how do you pick the best attribute, because that is really the crux of the algorithm. If you can pick the best attribute effectively, this all works out really, really ni nicely. If you pick a crappy attribute to split on, uh, you're going to get very bad trees. So how do you pick a best attribute? 